In this presentation, we will show you the main challenges and opportunities to tackle one of the most pressing environmental issues, the problem of plastic waste. We will explain to you the solution being developed by our project iCarePlast. As the iCarePlast project coordinator, ITQ is a joint research center formed by the UPV and the Spanish Research Council located in Valencia, Spain. The ITQ is an international renowned center in the area of catalysis and new materials for generation of clean fuel and renewable energy. Plastics can be found everywhere nowadays. They are used as packaging materials in construction, transportation, healthcare instruments, electronic components. Since we are using plastics in more and more applications, we are also producing more. Global production has increased exponentially, reaching more than 320 million tons of plastic produced in 2017. At this rate, production will reach 622 megatons by 2034. In other words, within 15 years, we will produce the same amount of plastic that has been accumulated since 1950. Plastics present incredible benefits that help people every day, but they should be sustainable to avoid detrimental environmental impacts. Here are a few of important pros. You can reuse or recycle many of them. They are light, cheap, and easy to manufacture, and they offer a safe way to transport any items. On the other hand, there are many relevant cons. Currently, plastics are typically made from non-renewable resources, and some are not recyclable. Plastic pollution is bad for our planet, oceans, and animals. If they eat them or get tangled in them, one-third of non-recyclable plastics leak into ecosystems and stay around hundreds of years. Plastics, like every other substance, are formed by molecules. Plastic molecules are polymers made of long chains of a certain building block, or monomer. A monomer is a molecule that forms chemical bonds with other monomers to form a polymer. There are seven types of plastic. The numbers indicate which polymer the plastic is made of and help identify and sort them. For instance, low-density polyethylene and high-density polyethylene have the same monomer but different properties and uses. The symbols on plastic packaging identify the type of plastic it is made of, but that does not guarantee that it is recycled or recyclable. Plastic recycling presents many challenges, especially of small formats, such as lids and caps, multi-materials, uncommon materials or nutrient contaminated as waste bags or takeaway food packaging. The production of plastics currently runs on a linear production model. It relies on a non-renewable resource, oil, which is used to make the plastic. Then it is molded in a factory to make the plastic product. When that plastic product is no longer of use, it is thrown away, ending up in landfill. More than 27 million tons of plastic waste are recovered in the European Union each year, and only less than a third part is efficiently recycled. The most common way to recycle plastics is through mechanical recycling of PET, involving sorting, melting, and reprocessing into recycled products. Mechanical recycling requires clean, high-purity monomaterial streams that must be obtained by separation at source, by the citizen or industry, or by sorting of mixed waste streams. Approximately 19 million tons per year are not recycled due to technical or economic reasons. Of this amount, 27% is sent to landfill, an evident loss of resources, and the remaining 42% is underexploited by incineration. The iCarePlast solution will enforce circular economy by substantially increasing the amount of recycled plastics to produce commodity chemicals. All plastic waste should be recycled or reused to benefit from its full potential without wasting valuable resources. The iCarePlast project is a European Commission Horizon 2020 funded venture which addresses the cost and energy efficient recycling of a large fraction of today's non-recyclable plastics from urban waste, closing the plastic loop. Our mission is to demonstrate the efficiency and sustainability of the process, to demonstrate its flexibility for treating all kinds of plastic materials, and to ensure that integration with current value chains is feasible. 
iCarePlast is going to demonstrate the whole technology for plastic waste valorization in an existing pilot plant that is able to process more than 100 kilograms per hour of plastic, modified to integrate the new developments. This pilot plant is located in the city of Zaragoza, Spain, and it is operated by the waste treatment and management company Urbesa. This revolutionary approach combines pyrolysis, catalytic treatment and membrane separation technologies to transform non-recycled plastic waste into high added value chemicals such as BTXs and alkyl aromatics, ready to be used in the synthesis of virgin quality polymers or as raw materials for other chemical industrial processes. Moreover, gaseous streams byproducts are recovered for energy valorization through innovative oxycombustion units integrated with heat recovery and CO2 capture technology to avoid greenhouse gas emissions. iCarePlast will produce commodity products that can be used for virgin quality polymers production or as raw materials for other processes in petrochemicals, fine chemicals, automotive and surfactants industries. For four years, ten partners from four different countries have come together to face the Plastic Pollution Challenge, a project consortium that has brought together leading industrial and academic partners from worldwide excellence institutions to contribute to a zero-waste Europe. There is an urgent need to develop groundbreaking technologies to address circular after-use pathways for plastic waste. We believe that iCarePlast has the added value of developing technologies and processes yielding the missing piece in circular economy.